the sign of cancer hello and welcome to my channel four of pentacles and the emperor four of pentacles it's about holding on to things people money or situations longer than it's healthy or realistic so when this card appears in a reading as it is as you can see it is this man he's holding on to his money he's got he's on all fours he's got his hands on his pinnacles and his feet on his pinnacles and if you can see his face his eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head and his brain is about to explode so it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to in April and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way this four of Pentacles it's about anxiety fear about money and or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure the key is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping it will not bring security that's what the four of Pentacles is about and when it comes to love and relationships it's about fear you could be holding on too tight to a situation or a lover or someone is attempting to do this to you cancer this is unhealthy clinging because true love it allows for space between lovers no matter what no one can really control another person all right so that is the four of pinnacles it's with the emperor now the emperor it's about domination of the mind over the heart and it's sometimes necessary even though it's not wanted in fact you should welcome this and that's probably what you must think about when this card appears when card choices must be made it's going to be important for you to maintain your concentration and focus the emperor signals this but he also signals that now is the time that you're going to find it easier to make hard choices okay so i say this because uh, the emperor he does not use his heart he uses his head so they are the type of people that are leaders boss they're very arrogant type of people now this is what we have for you in the, for the present time the four of pinnacles and the emperor so basically four of pinnacles there's some unhealthy clinging here coming up in and um coming up around the middle of April some unhealthy clinging to could be a situation could be a person um, and it's showing that someone just doesn't want to open up someone doesn't want to come across as vulnerable yeah so you or your person is clinging on to this connection in an unhealthy way but it's really strange because you're, it seems like you're clinging to someone who doesn't want to open up they don't want to reveal their feelings so you're you're clinging to this in a really unhealthy way and I'm picking up that it's unhealthy because you you really don't know where you stand you don't know what to make out of this so it's unhealthy clinging it's clean you're clinging and it's unhealthy because you don't know if it's a yes or it's a no so it's making this an unhealthy connection that's what I'm picking up. 
Yeah. It's unhealthy cleaning because you can't read this person. So, but you're there and you're, you're clinging and it's bad for you because you, you just don't know you're clueless, really, because the emperor, you'll never know how they feel. They'd rather have you die wanting to know. And it's true with the emperor. They don't use their heart. It's all about the head. So they've got you between a rock. What is, it, what is that saying? They've got you between a rock and a heart, heart place, something like that. But you must really like this person because you're holding on. And you still don't know nothing. And it's unhealthy. That's what I got for you for the present time. So, let's take a look at how they see you. How this emperor sees you. This person that doesn't want to appear vulnerable. They see you as temperance. And they see you as four of wands. Temperance, um, your relationships, they're probably going really well with the temperance. And this card means that you might need to look at some deep personal issues and see if they're standing in your way. And if they are, work through them and integrate them. The ideal is to find balance in yourself and with your relationships and any goals and aspirations you have. It's about finding balance and peace. Now, this is how they see you. And they also see you as a four of wands. Now, this four of wands, it indicates that you may be attending some type of special event. I don't know how with this quarantine going on, but it could be planning something special, put it that way. When it talks about love and relationships, it indicates that your relationship is about to become a whole lot more committed up to and including potential marriage. If you're looking for love and you're single cancers, this four of wands, it's showing that special events, weddings, bar mitzvahs, they're all great places to meet someone. But, uh, as we know, we can't do that now. But maybe, who knows, maybe soon we will be able to, to it looks like maybe towards the end of, the, end of April, maybe the doors will start to open again. Yeah, I believe that um, that's possible. So, that's a little tip for cancers who are single. And it's saying if you get invited to something like this, and you're single, make sure to go. Four of Wands is uh, it's a very good card. So that explains those two cards. Now, your person is seeing you like this Temperance and this Four of Wands. They, even though they don't open up, they keep their feelings to themselves, they do want long-term commitment with you. So they see you as someone that they could, uh, they enjoy. And um, they, they want to commit to you. They see it, they, or they just see it going, they see it as a potential to go to the next level. So they're not telling you, but I'm here to tell you with the four of wands showing up here, they do... I want to say they have feelings for you, but with the emperor, I don't, you can't figure those people out. So, but I, I can tell you that they want the connection to move forward, to go up a notch or two or three. They want to continue and move this connection forward. Like I said, marriage, long-term commitment, that's what you get with the four of wands the connection becomes a whole lot more committed. And this is how they see you. But they see you as needing to find balance. So they can see you off balance sometimes. Um, maybe some personal issues. And uh, they might 
hold back a little bit because of this for a little while, but they um, see you as needing to find some type of peace of mind. Maybe you've got some things going on that, that are outside of the relationship and they see you as needing to deal with that. And, um, but overall they, they do like being with you and they, um, see you as commitment potential so let's take a look at how you see them you see them as ten of cups and six of wands now these are two great cards I love both of these cards everyone wants the ten of cups it's one of the most lifting cards you can get in a reading it's about happiness perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of a way. It's a wish fulfillment promised by the Nine of Cups. Either way, it's a good card. The Ten speaks of happy family life, even if you're single, to the overall well-being that goes beyond you yourself to include those that you're most concerned about, your parents, siblings, children, and much more, your pets. Being spiritually fulfilled, it's a part of the picture also. Like I said, this is a good card to see regardless. And if you're questioning how your person feels about you, it's an indicator that you really don't have anything to worry about. You and your person, you're on the same page. And you, and you probably don't even know it. And I guess you don't know it. You're dealing with the emperor. Now it's with the six of wands. Six of Wands is about victory. If you're anxious about any type of court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart, you're going to be victorious. This can indicate any kind of celebration. You could be a part of graduation, commencement celebrations, or you could be receiving some type of reward for good work that you've done. You'll be feeling really good about yourself. Now, the Six of Wands, when it's about love and relationships, this card suggests that you may need someone to boost your ego while the other person is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring this is called fire of balance you two feed off of each other energetically it's that twin flame energy you can expect a lot of sexual energy and there's passion and long nights spent in bed with the six of wands here so, like I said, these are two beautiful cards. But this is how you see your person. You see them as mm, someone you want to be very successful with. Have a lot of victory with. Steamy nights and a lot of passion. That's how you see them. And you see them as your dream come true with the Ten of Cups. So you really like this person. You really like them. You see them as, yeah, a dream come true, wish fulfillment. There's probably a lot of sexual chemistry, a lot of chemistry there. Yeah. So let's take a look at why it's happening. Now it's happening due to the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. It reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times or bad times, it's going to pass. If suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective, Cancers. Because like everything else, it changes. Live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life, it's really out of our control. So just know that that's okay. Roll with any changes and think positive. So this is one of the reasons why it's happening. Uh, the relationship, this connection, it may need to be renegotiated when you get the Wheel of Fortune. But let's clarify this. It's with the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is considered to be a card of reunions. Reunions, possibly running back into someone or something that's been away for a long time. Um, it's a very happy reunion, very upbeat, 
It can also mean celebration, your own or someone that you care about. It could be celebrating a new baby, wedding, or some type of happy occasion. So why it's happening um, is because there's a deep, there's a great friendship here. Uh, you two feel like you're, you might have a lot, a circle of support for this connection. With the Three of Cups here, there's a lot of happiness. There's a lot of rejoicing. Um, yeah, there's a friendship here. But it's got the Wheel of Fortune there, so it could be at a, at a turning point. So the wheel is always turning. So you probably, probably because this person that you're dealing with is like this emperor, doesn't really express emotions, you probably feel like, because you can't read them all the time, you, you probably feel like sometimes it's not what you think it is. So you feel great about it, like there's a friendship, a great love, and there's a lot to celebrate with this person. But then you feel like they change on you. Maybe they don't love you like you thought they did. Because, of course you're going to think that because they don't open up. And because the will is there, that means that you feel like the connection is great. And then sometimes you feel like it's not so great. And then it's great. And then you feel like it's not so great. And then it's great. And then you feel like it's not so great. And I'm picking up because this person, they don't open up. But the good thing is that I like that you you have this um, four of wands here for how they see you. They do want commitment. They do want to take it to the next level. They see you with some issues, though, that you need to work out, work on. And then you see them as, you, you see them as just everything. There you're happy. And um, you want victory and success with them. There's a lot of passion in this connection. In this connection. In this connection.